Hi, I'm Bill McLaughlin, Editor-in-Chief of Furniture Today. Welcome to this week's edition of Frontline Friday, High Point Market Edition. While you're watching this on Friday, we're filming this on Tuesday and the market is still, as you can see, quite busy with lots of activity. One of the questions that I get asked very frequently at market is, well, how was the market? Was traffic up, traffic down? Uh, and my answer this year is, the high point market is a lot like retail. Some are doing really well and others are not quite as busy. And that a lot of that has to do with what kind of preparation you made, what kind of innovation you're showing, and what kind of activity and excitement they're creating in their showrooms. So we're gonna walk around a little bit and I'll share some of the trends that I've seen it here at High Point Market. One of the issues that we were tracking coming into market was rising manufacturer costs, which in turn was going to lead here to market at some discussion of price increases. And in fact, that did turn out to be the case as a number of manufacturers, particularly in the upholstery segment, did pass along increases. We spoke to retailers here at market and in many cases, actually in most cases, they're figuring out how to make that work for them. Another big issue that we see, saw here at market, and I shouldn't really call it an issue, it's really more of a trend, was incredible activity in the motion category where there was a great deal of innovation, new product development, and uh, we expect the motion category to be one of the hottest. And, and that is interestingly enough across the entire segment of the business, at the opening price point, at mid price points, and even high end players uh, are starting to look at motion as a growing opportunity, particularly power motion. As somebody said to me, you don't roll your car window those up anymore, do you? Uh, the other trend that we saw here at market is what we'll call total home, although that's really something of a misnomer because it plays differently across different segments of the business. In the furniture segment, when we talk about total home, what we're seeing is a coordination of case goods and upholstery into larger collections. The traditional suit, four and five piece suits that we see, uh, we heard from some vendors that those are no longer as popular as they once were, so instead what they're starting to do is offer comprehensive collections across bedroom, dining room, and living room. And having the similar collections that can be mixed and matched across multiple collections. And what that means for the retailer is the opportunity to curate for the consumer to let them express themselves individually within their own piece rather than doing the, co the traditional coordination where everything matches. That's a trend we expect to keep an eye on more as we go through the rest of the year, and I think we'll see more of that at the next couple of markets. So as you can see, there's still plenty of market going on here. I've got to get back to work. So till next week, I'm Bill McLaughlin with Furniture Today, wishing you good business.